Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Classic Minerals, ASX code CLZ. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the CEO of Classic Minerals, Dean Goodwin. Hi, Dean. Hi, Matt. How are you going? I'm good. Okay, so Classic Minerals is a gold explorer with two key projects in WA's goldfields region around the Southern Cross area, the Forestania and the Cat Gap Gold Projects. Over the last year or so, Classic has been busy installing a curious and unusually cost-efficient modular gold plant at Cat Gap, and the company is about to make that very difficult leap from Explorer to WA's next gold miner after producing the very first gold concentrate out of Cat Gap, courtesy of the new Gecko Modular Plant. Okay, Dean, we'll talk production in a minute, but firstly, tell me about this Gecko Modular Plant. How is it different? How much did it cost, and how many tonnes a year could it potentially put through? Yeah, well, it's different because it's designed to capture gravity gold, which we have a very high concentration of gravity gold at Cat Gap, around 70%, 75% is gravity. The plant was around $4 million bucks to purchase, and it has a throughput in the order of 200,000 tonnes per annum. Okay, so you've just produced the very first gold concentrate, I think from a bulk sample. How many tonnes and at what grade did you put through up front? Yeah, so the bulk sample, we mined that last year, 6,500 tonnes at 4.8 for about a thousand ounces we pulled out of the ground. Last year we did a pilot run here in Perth, small parcel of that material, and that came back around six. So we're anticipating some pretty good grade out of that bulk sample. We have observed the uh, Butchart table produce a concentrate at Cat Gap last week, and what we're seeing across the table looks a lot better than, uh, than what we saw from the pilot run last year. What's the size of the resource at Cat Gap now? So we're talking 1.2 million tonnes at 2.2 for about 80 odd thousand ounces. Is it closed off now or can you still extend that resource? Oh no, it's still going at depth and it's still a long strike to the south. So we've got a lot more work to do to extend that resource. How close to surface? It comes within eight metres. Okay, and do you have any other gold resources in the region that could potentially be processed using that same facility? Yeah, absolutely. We've got uh, 300,000 ounces up the road at Forestania, so we have Lady Adda and Lady Magdalene, uh, 59,000 ounces and 200-odd thousand ounces coming out of those two deposits. They are indicated and inferred. Okay, quick question and answer. When do you think you'll turn that concentrate into classics very first gold bar. Well, yes, it's very exciting at the moment. We, we're anticipating the first bar in the next week or so. Dean Goodwin from Classic Minerals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.